Hello and welcome to Fish and Forage. My name is Zach and today we are tying a vinyl rib bead-headed coronamid. These flies emulate a range of larvae and are incredibly versatile in terms of color and style and size. Today we're going to be doing a pretty basic red coronamid with a white bead head. So we're going to start with a size 12 hook, a curved hook, and then we have a white headed bead. So let's put the bead on there first. Remember to put the non-tapered end in. So once you have that on there, we're going to actually get this into our vise. Now, we'll also need some sort of synthetic. This is just a synthetic type of thread that uh, will act as the gills. It's I'm not entirely sure what this is actually, but it's it's basically just some sort of synthetic fibers. White is what you'll want. So the first thing we're going to do is tie that in uh, in front of the bead. So let's go ahead and take our red thread here, make a small thread base at the very top, cut the excess, you can wrap it down a little bit, maybe a quarter of the way down, and then tie in the synthetic threads, the white synthetic threads here. So you don't need much, just a small amount. And these are emulating the gills of the of the bug. So tie it in on top. I'm gonna do a couple loose wraps. I'm just gonna take it and pull it upwards to make sure that it's all oriented the same direction. Now let's tie it up to almost to the eye of the hook. Make sure that if it starts getting wrapped around you Grab onto it, pull it upwards like that. All right, so now that we're done with this one, we can cut this excess off. And do a quick whip finish, because we need to tie in behind the bead now. All right, so now we're gonna cut this off. Slide that bead forward. And then we're gonna tie in behind it. Do another thread wrap. Get that little end covered. Snip off the excess. So now that we've tied in, this thread is actually gonna act as the color for our coronamid. So we're gonna wrap it all the way down the bend in just a single layer. Now when it's at the bottom here, we're going to tie in our V-rib material, our vinyl rib material. So this should be fairly even. It's kind of tough to get it tied in at the curve there. Usually do a couple turns, let that rest, and then just manually pull it down like that. And make sure it stays on top there. And just wrap that all the way up. If it gets too far up there, just go ahead and cut the excess off. You can pull it tight. Snip it off. Continue your wraps. Just make sure it's all covered. You can kind of build up a, a base here. These bugs kind of taper from the back to the front, so they're a little bigger at the, the head. Little thread base isn't a bad thing. All right, now we're going to take our D rib or vinyl rib. As we're holding it tight, we're just going to wrap it from the bottom all the way to the top. Keep touching turns all the way 
till you get to that bead. I like to kind of get one half up into that bead to lock it in. Now tie it in here. Do a couple wraps in front of it. And then we can pull it tight and snip it off close. You can use your thumb to kind of squish that down a little bit. Works great. And now, just going to do a couple cementing wraps here and then whip finish. Perfect. Pull it tight. Snip that thread off. And then finally, as of, to finish this fly, we're going to snip this white off. It should be about as long as the diameter of the bead. It's a little longer, it's not going to hurt anything. And there we have it. The completed, in this case, red vinyl rib coronamid. Again, this is super versatile. I actually have a couple here that I did before to show off the range that you can do. So here's one with a yellow thread underneath it. A little bigger as well. I've made a couple with little peacock hurl heads. So there's another red one with a uh, smaller and a peacock curl head. And the colors, because it takes the color of the thread below it, it's very easy to switch colors. So I have a pretty simple black one here. And this is actually a kind of a light greenish one. But as you can see, <laughs> a little jungle gym going here. As you can see, it's a uh, very versatile. Uh, white white bead heads and silver bead heads are kind of the most typical, but uh, you can kind of explore and have fun with it. But anyway, guys, that's how you tie the vinyl rib bead headed coronamid. Again, these are very versatile, very fun to tie, very simple, and very few materials. So it's a great fly to learn on. It's what I've been doing. Good times, good good flies. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this, definitely think about subscribing. I release fishing and foraging content weekly, and I hope to see you back here. Anyway, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.